Yo, what up, it's Don. Sam Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. How you guys doing? Back up in it. Do a dozen basketball. How about that? Performance review of a tennis shoe. Yes. Sam picked up. And if you guys didn't know, Sam is a tennis boy. Or he used to be a tennis he used boy. Used to be. And uh, so this is a tennis shoe. You know, you'd think a tennis shoe would do pretty good on the basketball court, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. This is the Hyper what? Ultra React. Ultra. Okay, they went with Ultra on this one. The Ultra React by Nike. Here it is in this uh, flashy colorway. Let's hit it off with the traction. All right, so the traction is a very thick, hard black rubber. Um, it's used for, uh, or it's meant, or made for outdoor uh, tennis courts, obviously. Mm -hmm. That's where you play tennis. It's not going to be wood or anything. So uh, that's why they, the rubber is really hard. So outdoor, you should be okay. What but is tennis courts? It's, they're, they're it's like, like, I don't know. It's like a concrete? It's like a concrete. Like professionals thing. play on like clay? No, there, there's, it's all different. It's there's all different. There's two Grand Slams where there's hard court, there's one that's clay, yeah. and then Wimbledon's grass. So, right. Um, but in the US, it's mostly just that uh, concrete, yeah. uh, asphalt kind of material. It's really hard. And um, so that's what it's designed for. But uh, I obviously, I played basketball indoors. And the traction was not that good. Mm -hmm. uh, it was kind of sad. Uh, I thought it was going to break in also, but it's it wasn't that good. Um, all right, so um, it was really, really bad on dust. It picked up dust really, really fast. And then um, when dust was on it, I would be sliding all over the freaking place. Um, on the clean court though, it was okay. And then you stopped pretty damn hard. But then dust, even if a little bit got on it, you would, I would start sliding. So um, if you're playing on a really, really clean court, then it should be really, really good. But if you're playing on even a slightly dusty court, then it's gonna suck really bad. Um, so, all right, so now moving on to the cushion. The cushion is just a phylon, and then um, it's really, really, really thin, and... Um, really decoupled. Yeah, very decoupled. <clears throat> and it's two whole separate units here, and you can really see, it really looks like it. Yeah, and so. there are um, zoom units. There's a zoom unit in the forefoot and in the, uh, the heel. Um, I couldn't feel shit, and um, the cushion, impact protection was not that good. Uh, it made my feet hurt while I was uh, jumping up and down, you know, for impact protection. It was not that good. And uh, court feel is really good, though. I feel super low to the ground. The responsiveness is super good. But other than that, uh, it was just a mediocre cushion. Uh, just It just didn't feel like anything, really. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it was all right. All right. So, moving on to the upper. Yes. All right. So, the upper is, uh, what is this? It's like a mesh material and it's heavily, heavily fused. Yeah. And then there's a Kirim kind of material here on the forefoot. And Kirim, um, I, I, I don't understand the design of this because it doesn't even, it should be like right here. But then yeah. it's like on the toe. And on the toe, you don't really need it unless it's like right here because you, you do a lot of toe drags in tennis. But you don't need it here because you know, you're not, you're obviously not gonna Anyways, they should have angled it so it wasn't here. It was like here. Exactly. It came out because you got you need a, exactly. a lot of lateral supports in tennis. I mean, you're doing a crazy amount of like um, stop, like lateral stops and stuff. Yeah. Cutting. So. But uh, materials were good. Um, at first it was really really stiff, and this Kirim was digging into my foot really, really bad in the hurt. But um, after a few days of playing, it broke in, and uh, it was it was good after that. Um, so, um, and then you have this material, uh, this neoprene kind of material, uh, it's on the inner booty. So it's basically like a one booty, but kind of like tech fit, like the dealer twos. Yeah. And the materials weren't that bad uh, after you break it in. Uh, fit. Fit. Um, it runs really, really long. So mm. I guess if you're planning on getting this, go down half a size or maybe even a full size because this runs really, like pretty damn long. Mm. Uh, uh, I went through the size and it was pretty long, so. Uh, but I didn't really have any issues like having too much room anywhere in the uh, shoes, so besides it being long. Mm -hmm. So if it was good. All right, and then lockdown? Lockdown was also good, which was uh, very, very interesting because this is a one booty upper. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any heel slippage or any slippage at all. So, oh, and uh, uh, for width, it fits normal. So it's not like super narrow or anything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay, and then uh, support? Support was really good. Obviously, this was designed for lateral movement, so if you're doing a lot of lateral cuts and shit, 
um, my foot was very contained and um, you see how wide this is right here mm -hmm. yeah so I don't really know if tennis players get a lot of um, ankle sprains actually I don't think so right um, but well you know a lot of <clears throat> a lot of ankle sprains come from like jumping up vertically exactly. and landing weird but like it's usually for but even for basketball it's usually because you step on exactly. someone's foot and you're playing by yourself if exactly. you're playing tennis, so I don't think so but um, it, a lot of support was good all right, so we covered a uh, lockdown a little bit. Yes. Uh, now let's weigh this thing. Seven, seven and a half. Uh, it feels pretty light. Eleven point nine six. Mm. So it's a very, very light shoe. Yeah. And it feels super light. Um, besides the traction being bad on dusty ports. Right. Okay. Um. Now durability. This is something, you know, the shoe seems like it'd be pretty durable. Yeah, it's basically made for outdoor. Yeah. You know, so durability is going to be very good. Yeah. Um, now, uh, we'll touch on ventilation real quick. It was good. Okay. It was good. Not hot. Aesthetics? I'm not too mad. It's, it actually looks pretty dope. Yeah. I just hate the colorway. This is actually not the colorway that I ordered. Really? But Nike fucked up and gave me this colorway. Like, what, what the fuck? They're like, sir, you'll have this. Yes. And shut your mouth. Yes, and I did one day delivery, and they literally took one week to get here. No way. Yeah, I paid like 35 extra bucks or whatever. Damn. But I called them, and, and then they gave me my money back, so. Right. Um, it, it looks like the mix of a of a basketball shoe and a soccer shoe to me. Yes. Like the perfect mixture. Yes. Um, so, uh, so let us know what you guys think of it aesthetically. Um, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Does it basketball is the question. It does. It does. But not very well. Right. Right. So, um, like this is 160 freaking dollars. So mm. I, I don't even know why you'll be, um, buying this for basketball anyways, but, um, you, a lot of you guys were asking to do tennis, a tennis shoe because you know, a lot of sport and stuff like that. And then a lot of you guys are asking for a volleyball shoe, right? So um, I got this and it does basketball. Uh, I just wish the traction was better. Uh, the cushion was just whatever, you know, it, it was, it was, you know, basically like the Kyrie threes, you know, but mm -hmm. maybe like a little bit more impact protection. The materials were uh, pretty damn nice and the fit was good. It was just ran a little long. So the, my only problem was with the traction. Um, it just didn't bite that hard. So, um, I feel like this would be like a decent outdoor basketball shoe. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, even except indoors. Except for the price. Yeah, except for the price. But even indoors, if the traction was good, I would say this is a really, really nice shoe for basketball. Um, but the traction just was not up to par um, from, from my standards. I, I didn't like playing it that much because yeah. I was sliding all over the place with the dust. Yep. But other than that, yes, it does basketball. And um, yeah, you guys were right. You guys were always asking lateral support. Dude, the freaking does basketball. All right. It does very basketball. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, very good. That's it. That's the uh, does it basketball. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Any uh, any future suggestions for does it basketball? Put them in the comments below. We, we we're really... not gonna do ice skates, dude. Stop asking. You guys are. We gotta do. Uh, uh, you guys. Man. We have to do the scuba fins. The, I, we'll do that, but we're not gonna do ice skates. All right. Yeah. <laughs> ice um, skates. Yeah, we'll get fucking kicked out of the gym oh for that. God. That's it. We'll catch you in the next one. Soul Brothers. Later. Peace.